What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the World of Juice channel. Welcome back to the Chicago Bears Legend Fantasy Draft Series here on the channel. And it's the it's the day, man. It is the day you have all been waiting for. Week 17, season number 3, the revenge game. Week 17 last year, if you do recall, we played the Green Bay Packers in this same sort of situation that we fall in this year. We were undefeated 15-0, looking for our perfect season, going into the playoffs, going for a perfect 16-0, and then eventually on to a 19-0 season along with a Super Bowl victory. Obviously, all of that didn't happen. We did win the Super Bowl, but we went 18-1. Not this year. The Green Bay Packers will fall to the Chicago Bears in Week 17. We will be 16-0 when this game is over, and we will be 19-0 when this season is over. I guarantee it. I guarantee it, boys. We are going to win this game. Let's get right into it. No more talking. No more distractions. No more like buttons or subscribe buttons. This is payback. Aaron Rodgers will not make it out of this game on his two feet. He will be injured. He will be broken. He will be destroyed by this Bears defense. I'm not playing around this time. Last time, I underestimated how good Aaron Rodgers was. And I underestimated how good his offense can be. But not this time, boys. I'm not holding back. I'm going in for the kill this week Welcome in, everybody. it's gonna be the Snow most intense coach, episode you've ever seen in your life like peanut butter and jelly and we've got half the fun and games are out the window i'm gonna Green go Bay. for the kill Today go for the throat on this one it's gonna get ugly Chicago boys Bears it's gonna get ugly let's destroy this who is this wait 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 kurt cousins Kirk, Kirk Cousins is on the Packers? Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers is not on the Packers. Either he retired or he left or he left the team in the offseason. This is this is a fantastic move. I could I didn't even know that he either retired or left. Well, this changes everything. I mean, I still want to destroy the Green Bay Packers because they're my arch rival, and they've beaten me. They beat me last year and ruined my undefeated season. But this, it, it loses something now that Aaron Rodgers isn't, he's not the quarterback. I, ca I can't believe it. I did not know that Aaron Rodgers had either retired or just left the team. I'm assuming he retired. I don't think he'd be even leaving free agency. So I would assume that he just retired at the end of last season. But that's crazy. Now we got to go up against Kirk Cousins, who is a considerably easier quarterback to play against. As I say that, he starts to carve me up on offense, but Sean Taylor eliminates him. Luckily for them, the ball goes out of bounds, but not for us. But this is crazy. This is unforeseen. I did not see this coming. Aaron Rodgers retiring at the end of the season and Kirk Cousins being their starting quarterback. And now we get the fumble. It's time, boys. Rashad Jones in the right place at the right time. Keeps his his string of good plays coming in this season. That's why we signed him to a two-year extension during the season. But it's time for things to change. We're going to rewrite the script on the Green Bay Packers Chicago Bears rivalry. Let's just say after we get done with them, it won't be considered a rivalry anymore. Or it will be because they just sat. Forgot they had Ed Reed. Ed Reed's a monster. And Jesse James with a clutch catch on third down. Jesse James, the outlaw. And Ladanian Tomlinson, who earlier in the season, during one of my during my simulations after this game, he he had the audacity, he had the gall 
to come out and say that he was frustrated after he's got back-to-back -back seasons of 1,500 rushing yards and over 20 touchdowns, I think, in both seasons. And he says he's frustrated. He says he's not getting the ball enough. You've got over 200 carries and 1,500 yards. What more do you want, bro? What more do you want? But I couldn't do anything about it because I was simulating, so he still came out frustrated. Oh, he has 19 touchdowns this season because I just saw the, the milestone thing, get your 20 touchdowns. So he has only 19 this season. But I'm pretty sure he had 20 last year. And Calvin Johnson, speaking of frustrated players, Calvin Johnson, I told you guys in the last episode, he came out and said he was frustrated. But in that game, we didn't get him the ball very much, so he's still frustrated. We might as well change that right now because he's got two catches for a first down here. Justin Herbert looking strong. Four for four, 61 yards, and about to throw a touchdown to Rondale Moore, baby. We lead 6 nothing in the first quarter. A five-yard touchdown. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. Domination is a foot. We came here to see a game, didn't we? And it looks like he's running what we call The snow doesn't bother air. me. You just go out there with your offense. The cold never bothered me anyway. No defense. He's five for five on the opening drive. He was on his Rondell Moore, nine touchdowns one, but in the air. The only thing is now he can't go any higher than that. He was so perfect. Can he do oh. it again later? Yeah, all he's The ball about hits right the, is the woodwork for there. 10, 15 for 15. <laughs> and, and he feels like he can get it done. Let's go, boys. Let's put these guys out of their misery early so they can get packing and get ready for the offseason because they're like 4 10 and 1 right now. So they're already not getting in the playoffs. But let's just send them off with a nice smack. Good old fashioned country yard smack. Here's Cousins. That was a good open throw. I missed the tackle with Troy Polamalu. I completely would. But Kirk Cousins is 5 for 563 yards. So he's about, oops, I got control. He's about the same as Justin Herbert through this first quarter. So who's going to be the first quarterback to crack and make a mistake? I bet Kirk Cousins. Oh, oh. He missed the, he shed the tackle of Tim Williams. Oh, that wasn't Tim Williams. Who was that? 57? Who's 57? Oh, it's Manti Teo. No wonder he shed the tackle. Because Manti Teo is trash. Manti Teo is trash. Cousins. Too easy. Gary on Conley steps right in front of the receiver, picks that ball off. Kirk Cousins never even saw it coming. He, he should have because Gary on Conley was blanking he, the receiver. I don't know why he threw that. But that's two turnovers for the Green Bay Packers. Your boys are about to destroy these punks. It's going to be a massacre. You're going to want to shield your eyes after I get done with these boys. And that was a horrible pass from Kirk Cousins from Justin Herbert. What do you think? You gotta get, I got to work on his throwing the run. Because if I'm going to do one of those play action reads, I'm going to need those throwing the run stats to be a little better. Oh, no! Herbert, you underthrew Randy Moss. Uh-oh. That was a mistake. Uh, at least I won the, the bet that I made with myself because I said that Kirk Cousins was going to be the first to make a mistake, and he did. But Gross Matos with a sack at the one. The young man out of Penn State with a fantastic name. Gross Matos gets a sack on Kirk Cousins. He came in untouched on Kirk. I just wish it would have been a safety. That would have been even better. But is this going to be a... Uh, oh, Ray Lewis was so close. No, don't let him. Conley, pull him back. Conley, no! He's going to get the touchdown. Darn it. I missed it with Ray Lewis, and then I missed it with Conley. That sucks. That's like a 100-yard run or a 99-yard run at least. Oh, it was 100 yards. Darn it. After everything that I said, after all the trash talking, I throw up, I underthrow. Uh, who was it? I underthrow. I underthrow Randy Moss, I think. And Justin Herbert throws a pick. That was a horrible pass from Herbert. I don't know what he was doing. And then it costs us. Gross Matos gets a sack, but it doesn't matter because Earl Campbell takes it yard to yard. Or that doesn't make any sense. He takes it goal line to goal. <laughs> yard to yard doesn't make any sense. 
Okay, Herbert, it's okay. It's a, it's a nice, it's a young, a young quarterback making young mistakes. You see it all the time. He's done it before. <laughs> I can confirm that. He has made those mistakes before. And, we know that's not really and I got, true, I forgot to tell you guys because I was so hyped to, to get into this game, but I looked at the MVP stat or the MVP rankings for the season, and Justin Herbert, what did you know, he's back at number one for the MVP race, so could we have a back-to-back -back MVP winner? The first time in history of the NFL, a back-to-back -back MVP, Justin Herbert, he just keeps making it harder for me to, to transition to Trevor Lawrence. And Trevor Lawrence keeps uh, upgrading in his uh, backup role, so that's just it's just hard for me to, to choose Justin Herbert, but he keeps playing good, so... Cameron Brake coming up with a clutch catch right there. So I got to stay with my guy Justin Herbert because he's led us to a Super Bowl. He's won the MVP. He's about to win his second MVP in just his third season. Or in his second season. I don't, I don't know. I think it's his third season. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five. No, it's the six. second season because this is this is the third season. So, and we drafted him after year one. So, he's about to win two MVPs in his first two seasons. That's fantastic, unprecedented, never been done before. Ladanian Tomlinson tries to roll into the end zone but can't get there, just a yard short. One of my quick, quick slants. That's my go-to down at the one-yard line. And it looks like Rondell Moore is going to be the recipient recipient of his second. Touchdown of the game. Rondell Moore. Touchdown reception. And the Bears have taken the lead. We're back in the lead. Up by seven. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty Now let's see if the defense can actually tackle Earl Campbell on this drive and not let him go goal line to goal line and score another 100 yard touchdown. Because that's just demoralizing for our defense, letting him run all over us like that, 100 yards. That's not acceptable. Should release every player on my defense if that happens. You know, Charles, season winding down. Time to maybe look ahead to the offseason. Oh, yeah, you should be definitely looking ahead of the offseason. They're 4 10 and 1. You got nothing to play for. Just about every but we have everything right on the no line here. Really An undefeated season, a, a third and trip to the Super Bowl. We got everything. His own current team. I think he's auditioning for the rest of the league to try and find a spot because like, this team. No, he's not. Man, he's going to do it again. Are you freaking kidding me right now? 40, 20, Earl Campbell has just ran for another touchdown. Tackle him. With his second touchdown here in this first what is happening? They're only in this game because Earl Campbell is getting that mad and cheese. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. I can't believe this. Earl Campbell's going to have like 300 yards rushing in one game because we can't tackle him. And he has that breakaway speed that we can't catch up to him. This Madden cheese is out of control. Stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25 okay. yard line. They want to go punch for punch with us. You're going punch for punch go with the wrong heavyweight boxer. Charles Way touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing. It's starting to feel you can't keep up like with the shiftiness of Barry Sanders. Yeah, like you can't there, keep up with the raw really power this type of, of Ladanian Thomas. Right you can't now, keep up the with the hands of Randy Moss. The godlike hands of Randy Moss? You can't do it! Get mossed! Straight cash homie! Justin Herbert with his third touchdown of the first half. It's going to be a absolute fight in this game. We're going back for back and forth, punch for punch, trading touchdowns every possession. Hopefully that stops here. Oh, Phil, oh, you got to be kidding me. Rashad Jones had the face mask. That's stupid. I'm not sure what this is about. It's a face. Of course you know what it's about. That's clearly a face mask. 
Officials are so ugly. cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Okay, yeah, come right. on, boys. We cannot let Earl Campbell run, run all over us. That's not our defense. Our defense is built on tackling. Oh, like that. <laughs> Try Pala Malu. Jeez, I did not see that coming. I thought he was too far away for a big hit. We didn't need to ask around the league, but we Good job the swatting that ball down. Player. They've got to find a way to get him more involved. Call a few more plays to target him. Absolutely, because here we are toward the end of the first half, and that's the first time. Not just the first catch, first target. A second down throw for Cousins. No, he beat Conley. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Oh, Lambo field filled with cheese heads. Cheese heads that would love to see to Kirk Cousins no win one. against so the, the big Bears. Play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Oh, big oh, hit knocks the ball down, out. But this one winds he up drops it and does not get the What'd catch. Good job, Ray Lewis. I keep beating my my center with Geno Atkins, but I get double teams. I can't get off the second one. And Palomalu was not getting fooled on that one. Causes the fumble, and Sean Taylor is there to pick it up. We got 40 seconds to get a bigger lead. 40 seconds to get a bigger lead. Can we do it? And Rondale, Rondale catches a quick slant. I thought that was going to get picked off, but luckily it didn't. Luckily, Rondale was there to catch it. And that's a good start to this drive, at least get a, uh, in the field goal range. I know that we're facing the win, so it's going to be a little trickier. But not when you got Randy Moss. Who needs a field goal when you have Randy freaking Moss, baby? Get Moss second time in a row. Straight cash, homie. His second TD of the game and six That's what I'm talking about. Exactly what we needed. I missed the extra point, but that's okay. I'm too hyped. He was shuffling right out of the pocket. You could just tell he was going to take a shot. I'm too hyped to give a crap about missing one extra point. We can just get a two-point conversion when we score again. That's how confident I am. I told you this game was going to get ugly. Stayed alive as a passer. Tremendous body control. 21 That's seconds. Hopefully our defense can hold. I think they get the ball back. I can't remember. I always forget, but I think they get the ball in the second half. Get this drive started. The Green I'm out of breath. That's how out of shape I am. Less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach? Good job. Double team him. Tackle him. Take him down. It's hard it's to take Earl Campbell down. You gotta wrestle him. Before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw, I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially. Ooh, that was a good that was a good out route. That was a good out route. And a good throw by Kirk Cousins. Did it. Move the chains. So a challenge. Ooh, booth review. I think he I think he was in. Yeah, they they call it even though it didn't sell. But they're at the 50 yard line, so it counts. Okay, let's not let them get a field goal here. That would be bad. Wouldn't be as bad as getting the touchdown. Okay, they have six seconds left. There's no way they can get two plays off, so. They're going to go for it. Okay. We're going to go with a nice little zone cover three. Oh, they're going to kick the field goal. That's a deep field goal. Dear Lord, baby Jesus. That's a deep one. Holy crap, that was horrible. Why'd they kick that? What are you doing? That was like a 70-yard field goal. Well, not the best first half facing this What are you doing, my boys? Three on the board before half. Yeah, it's a little bit like that stormy, cloudy day, and the sun peeks through just for a second. That was horrible. They saw the sun there. They're hoping to see a little bit more of it in the second half. Okay, let's run the same play, just opposite side here. The final shot before break. Herbert. He's got a rifle run deep. Oh, I threw a pick. You got to be kidding me. That's stupid. He didn't. I didn't have enough air on it. Like, oh, I get the ball back. Oh, that's nice. That's stupid. I didn't. I didn't put enough air on it. I think I was throwing into the wind, so I didn't get as enough air on it as I wanted to. But that pick really shouldn't count. I mean, 
end the game just throwing the ball up. That eh, it's not really a pick, but it'll count in the stat book. So. I did look at the career stats for Justin Herbert, and before this game, he was going. He went into this game with 9,000 career passing yards, so he could get to 10,000 at the end of this game if he has a huge one. Jeez, they destroyed my offensive line on that one. I had no chance to get a first down there. They brought the house. They brought the house on that one. No shot. And a nice little slant route to Jesse James underneath the defense. Too easy. Too easy for these boys. Okay, one of my favorite. You guys know this is one of my favorite plays to call because I get two chances, and what? And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 49. Justin Herbert. My boy, what was that? What kind of pass was that? Your feet were set. And that was, a, that was the worst pass I've ever seen. Like, dear Lord. What kind of pass was that? He threw it directly at Dylan Moses. He didn't even hold back. <laughs> oh, three picks now. Justin Fields, Justin Fields, Justin Herbert has thrown. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. Right side, it's the tight end. One of them was a, a fluky, just throwing it up in the air and got picked off. But two of them have been just outrageous, especially that third one. I don't know what happened on that throw. Cousins, the thrower. Oh, Gross Matos was there. Luckily, Earl Campbell couldn't hold on to it. Man, Gross Matos had the had the sack. He just got it off. He dropped it, and that reminds me of a story you told me from your days at Tennessee. We don't need to mention the other guy's name, but when he dropped an open pass that you blew coverage on, what did you say to it? Yeah, it's really not right. And that's a horrible pass from Kirk Cousins. That kind of makes up for my well, no, not really because mine led to an interception, and it was just blatantly bad. But that one was just, could have been just as bad. And it causes them to kick a field goal. This one a little closer than their one they tried at halftime, and they still miss it. It's short, and I don't know if it would have. I don't know if it would have been on target, even if it was long enough. It kind of was curling towards the left corner, but it might have went in. But it's too short anyway, so it doesn't matter. Ladanian Tomlinson is about to chug his way for a first down and get 15 extra yards on that face mask. Let's do this, boys. Who needs Justin Herbert throwing the football when you got Ladanian Tomlinson well, we running the football? Right we knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation. It's a pretty tight game, even though the scoreboard doesn't say it is. Although it is a two-score game. I mean, they're not out of it yet. With nine minutes to go in this game, it's not. It's not anywhere close to being over. Okay, Herbert, let's try this play again and see if you can hit it. And what's that? Oh, holding a serious. It's got to be holding. What else? What else? Paul can do. Oh. Okay. I'll take that one. It wasn't even. A, I didn't even get the first down on the throw. So I'll take a pass interference on the defense for sure. Look, and LT just bulldozing his way across this Packers team. Second and four. Who are we going to hit? Who's Justin Herbert looking at? He's looking at Rondell Moore again, who's going for his third touchdown of the game. Or his second touchdown of the game. I'm not quite sure what he's doing because Randy Moss has two. So I think Herbert. He's only thrown to Rondell twice, or once. Sucks. I couldn't get the ball off to Barry. Fit it in there. Darn it. Why'd you slow up on your route, Calvin? You always say how you're a frustrated receiver. Well, I'm trying to get you the ball, but you're slowing up on your route. I can't hit you. Get in there, Cam. Oh, so close. He's at the one-yard line. What do we do, boys? Fourth and goal at the one. Do we kick the 18-yard field goal? I, I have to. I have to kick this 18-yard field goal, take the points, and win the game. Winning is more important than destroying this team. I mean, I probably would have went for it if they had Aaron Rodgers, so I could just 
completely destroy them, break their spirit. But I gotta, I gotta win. I can't lose this this undefeated season. This is year three now. This is year three now. We've lost two games in this entire um, this entire career. We lost to the Vikings and we lost to the Packers. So we've lost to the division teams both times. But things are different this season. This is this is the year. I can feel it. We've got the two Super Bowls, so there's no pressure on winning. Well, there is pressure on winning this year, but, but there's there's more pressure on winning this game and becoming 16 and 0, going into the playoffs undefeated, trying to win that that. Uh, well, we had the first round by, and we have the home field advantage like always. But we just need to focus on this game, win this game. There's six minutes left to win this. This, this game and go undefeated. This is going to be the biggest fourth quarter we've had in Chicago Bears history. That's another fumble. I didn't think that was going to be a fumble. What a turnover at the end of the quarter. I didn't think he even had possession before I hit him. But he did, and he fumbles it. So we get the ball back here to start the fourth quarter. Trying to get something started with Barry. But Barry Sanders cannot get any space let's see what we got going here let's see what Justin Herbert has in mind I gotta hit Randy he's just wide open you can't leave Randy Moss wide open like that how many times do I gotta tell you how many times do I gotta teach you this lesson old man you can't leave Randy Moss wide open he's got three catches for 160 yards He's the Earl Campbell of the, of the Bears offense. And Barry Sanders just, he just blows by that man. He just disregards him. He just destroys his future. On that one. Disrespect on that one. Put some respect on my name. Let's run again with Barry. Get him some more rushing yards. And that's a face mask in the 15 extra. I'll take it. Thank you very much. Face mask. I'll take the 15 free ones. Thank you very much. Thank you. Come again. Let's do some slant routes. The good old slant routes. All reliable right here. All reliable. Especially when they're going to Randy Moss. And he dropped it. No. The sure hands of Randy Moss fail me. They don't fail me very often. But when they do, it's usually a, a critical moment for some reason. And I, I looked at his stats. He's got some good rushing stats. Randy Moss comes up clutch in the very next play. That's his third touchdown of the game. And that seals it for the Packers. They're done. 4-11-1 and one for the Green Bay Packers. Let's put in Trevor Lawrence here. It's over anyway. I think we're talking about a, a Justin Herbert's already got the he's case, already got the MVP locked up. Let's put Trevor Lawrence in at quarterback here. See what he can do against this horrible Packers team. Now wide catching it, and he's done exactly that. Truly leading his team right now towards victory. Three he's only got 113 yards and two touchdowns. But that was in week one. This, this is week 17, seven. a big time. And Manti Teo just falls down. <laughs> oh, that's why we got him. Wait, is that Manti Teo or is that Jillian Phillips? Phillips. Oh, Teo's 57. That wasn't him. Man, I was hoping it was because that was a good, that was a meme the moment right there. We only got Manti Teo for the memes. And, and then in the week one, he goes and picks off a ball in incredible down. fashion, which is hilarious. <laughs> what is that? Earl Campbell is ready to, to blow through the defender. The other team takes Face mask? Oh, come on, man. Team. Artie Burns, Burns, what are you doing? Come on, with a name like Artie, you're not supposed to be commit fouls. I don't know why that, <laughs> why that would be the case, but it goes, it makes sense. Go with it. And Gross Matos trying to find his way. Troy Palamalu is not messing around today. He is bringing the hammer down on this this Packers receiving court. Nobody is safe from yards. Troy Polamalu. That hair man, that hair adds like 15 extra pounds of, of pure power. And Artie Burns gets shrugged off, but Ray Lewis does not. Pick up the ball, what are you doing? You had two guys running right by it. That's, that's the animations that I just can't stand, man. The ball is right there, and both guys, Palomalu and I think that was Gary on Conley, both just run right by the football. 
Oh, that's frustrating, but. Cousins. <sighs> oh, Conley missed. Burns, or is Rashad Jones actually pulls him down. But Gary on Conley overran the route. He overcommitted. 3.15 left to go in this game. Three minutes left to go in this game for about the accelerated clock there for a second. They've only run it six times, and I think Errol Campbell has 190 yards. That's depressing. Very depressing. But this is so much easier now that Aaron Rodgers is not on the Packers. So much easier. I went in this game super worried that we were going to get picked apart again, just like last season with Aaron Rodgers. He completely torched us on offense. And even though we did come back and make it a two-point game, oh, man, that was so frustrating losing that game. That's why I was so hyped to get some revenge. And even though we are going to get our revenge, good stop by uh, Malcolm Butler there. But even though we are going to get our revenge, it's just not the same without Aaron Rodgers. And we'll never get that revenge. We'll never completely get it because Aaron Rodgers probably retired. I think he did. He wouldn't just leave. They would, they would sign him to a contract. So we're up by 20 here with 2.39 to go. Trevor Lawrence gets to, to come out on the field, hopefully, if we get this onside kick. I, didn't, I don't know why they're doing an onside kick. 20 point, down 20 points. They'd have to score three touchdowns to win. <laughs> you have to score three touchdowns in two minutes and 38 seconds. I don't think that's possible. But you never know with the mat and cheese. It's crazy. But I think we finally did it, boys. We completed a perfect regular season. Can we complete a perfect post season and get that ever so elusive 19 and 0 that would be absolutely unreal okay trevor i don't like that play uh, i don't like any of these plays but i'm gonna have to hit that y stick hit that y stick with randy Trevor Lawrence, I think that's a first down, but I'm not too sure the the way it looked. It looked like it was short. Oh, no, he got five catches for 181 yards for Randy Moss. Get Moss, son. Get absolutely Moss. Trevor Lawrence finds Randy Moss again, and Randy Moss absolutely juked that boy out of his shoes on his way to the five-yard line. Oh, no, Trevor, he slipped. Oh, somehow Trevor Lawrence pulls a rabbit out of his hat, finds Calvin Johnson for the touchdown. I don't know how that play happened, but we're going to take it. He slips. He slips in the pocket. Luckily, he didn't fall down. He kept his hand down and was able to keep himself up. That's a fantastic play by Trevor Lawrence, the rookie. Oh, man. I was going to run for a touchdown there, but then he slipped. So I didn't know what to do. Luckily, Calvin Johnson had the hands to hold on to the football, even though it was a very inaccurate pass. Oh, Braxton Berrios got stiff armed out of his helmet there. I hope the, the Austin Bats, the formerly known as the LA Chargers, I hope they make it to the playoffs and make it to the Super Bowl because I really want to play them. I want to see their uniforms and stuff. That was a good play. He burned my corner on that one. I think that, who's that corner out there? Conley? I think Conley's out there. Conley got murdered. 190 yards for, for Earl Campbell on seven rushes. That's just disgusting. Oh, this is easy. Malcolm. Oh, he pushed him out of bounds, but that should have been at least a knockdown. 36 seconds left. The Bears are undefeated in the regular season. At least we still got three games to go. Conley keeps getting... He keeps getting beat on these comeback routes. That happens time in and time out. 29 seconds. Are they going to try and make this this game look more competitive than it actually was? Ooh, that was a bad play. He misread that receiver. They were not on the same page on that one. I just wish it would have fall, fallen into my hands for a pick. But yeah, this is actually the wasn't easy part of the game for them because just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. They blanketed the field. And another overthrow from Kirk Cousins. He's he's uh, feeling the pressure from our defense here, making bad passes. 
This offense was on the move. Now two straight in. Third and 10, 21 seconds left. They're at the 19. And the pick almost. Artie Burns had it in his hands. That's one he wants back. Because I've been I've been knocking him off season. No, he, I haven't liked the way he's been playing. I might cut him loose at the end of the season or in the offseason. That could have saved him. That could have saved him. I don't know. He's, he's on the bubble. That's for sure. He's one of those players on the bubble. They do pull one back here at the end of the game to make this game look a little closer than it actually was, but we know the real story. We know this game was a blowout from the start. They didn't even stand a chance without Aaron Rodgers. This team isn't the same. That's probably why they were 4-10-1. and one. I should have realized that Aaron Rodgers, uh, Aaron Rodgers' led team would never be 4-10-1, even in Madden simulations. They would never be 4 10 and one so that should have been my first clue. And Trevor Lawrence, I think he's he's perfect on his passes in the games that he's played, so I'm not going to ruin that by throwing a stupid pass trying to get him more yards. He's done enough this season to prove to me that he's a good backup. He's done enough, so I'm going to take this kneel, and we're going to go undefeated in the regular season. And kneel. There it is. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two. Why are you high fiving each other? You just got demolished. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win, it's another thing we to did win. it, boys. 16 and 0. It was a hard fought offense? victory. Not in this game, it was a hard fought victory I mean, in the last game, couple of games. That number of points, <sighs> continually feeling like they're moving the ball and we things are working undefeated. And they think that they can bomb I never thought I'd see the day where I, where I lead a team to an undefeated season here on YouTube, but I did it. Trevor Lawrence, 100% accuracy. Completion percentage, 46 yards, one touchdown. It was a, it was a crazy touchdown. Get slipping in the pockets, keeping his his, uh, keeping his bearings, finding Calvin Johnson and throwing that touchdown. Justin Fields, <laughs> out of all the quarterbacks to get an upgrade, Justin Fields is the one that gets the upgrade, the one that didn't even play. But that's okay, I'll take it. He needs to get upgrades so I can find out what his hidden potential is. I think it's a superstar X Factor, but I'm not 100% sure. It could just be a superstar. Yeah, we did it. 16-0. and One of only a few teams to do it. I think the last one, the first one to do it since the, uh, since the Patriots did it back in, what was that, 2012? They did it against the Giants when they lost in the Super Bowl. I think they, that was the year they did it. Still pains me to think about that. But that is going to be the end of the episode here for today, guys. If you guys are super hyped for the divisional round of the playoffs, then smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on notifications to join the family with us. You don't want to miss any uploads here in the family. And I'll see you guys in the playoffs. See ya!